evaluating the quality of multiple choice question by performing item analysis one component of the item analysis is the reliability test based on Cooder Richardson formula 20 KR 20 reliability test measures the consistency of exam scores it does measure how consistent i.e. similar student exam scores are from one exam to another if the same exam questions are used student scores would remain consistent over time if the same test was repeated by the same student i.e. the exam is reliable however if the student exam scores were different the exam would be less reliable Cooder's Richardson formula 20 abbreviated as KR20 is one of the best estimate of reliability for exam scores exams that have only multiple choice questions the KR20 calculates the reliability of multiple choice question exam it does check the internal consistency of items or questions questions that are dichotomous i.e. it has only two options either right or wrong so the data are dichotomous data or binary data so the data are binary variable or dichotomous variable a correct question score equal to one and an incorrect question score is recorded as zero so in this case the multiple choice question have only two answer possible answer right or wrong so zero or one so this is a dichotomous data kr20 values range from zero to one a test showing kr20 value equal to 0.9 or greater have excellent reliability on the other hand a kr20 value of less than 0.5 is considered to have low reliability or the exam is having less reliability so Cooder richardson formula 20 is published by Kuda Richardson and the KR20 is equal to K divided by K minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the division of the summation of P multiplied by Q divided by the variance K stands for the total number of questions P stands for for the proportion of people who answered the question or question, question correctly q proportion of people who did not answer the question correctly and the variance of the total score for all people or student participating in the test now there are several factors that affect the KR20 value the first one is the difficulty of the test the second one is the total number of questions on the test the third one is the number of questions that did not discriminate or negatively discriminated and finally the spread in the student scores in the table below the range for KR20 value and the corresponding reliability label is described so if the 
KR20 value is equal to 0.9 or greater than the exam or the test, it have an excellent reliability. The reliability of an exam is good when the KR20 value is between 0.8 and 0.89. A KR20 value of 0.7 to 0.79 is considered to be a acceptable reliability of an exam. A test that is questionable in reliability when the value ranges from 0.6 to 0.69. A value of 0.5 to 0.59 is considered as to be a poor reliability. And an exam or a test that have a KR20 value of less than 0.5 is considered as an unreliable or an unacceptable exam. In the next slide, a table and the equation for a reliability test based on KR20. The table contains data for 10 students answered a multiple choice question exam that contains 15 multiple choice questions and the score for each question for each student was inserted as either 0 or 1 0 for, correct, for incorrect answer and 1 for correct answer and to evaluate the quality of the test reliability test can be performed based on the KR20 equation and to do that is first of all to calculate the total score achieved by each individual student by adding all the correct answers achieved by student combine them them together to generate the total score for each student and from the total score a variance can be calculated and it was found to be equal to 22.36 and that variance represent the lower part of the equation and to calculate the upper part first of all to calculate the p-value i.e. the proportion of the student who answered the question or the item correctly for question number one three students answered the question correctly so the proportion is 0.3 and for question number 15 five students answered the item correctly so the proportion is 0.5 once the p value is calculated then the q value will be calculated q represent the proportion of the student who answered the question incorrectly and to obtain the value for the Q is to subtract the P value for the item from 1. So 1 minus 0.3 equal to 0.7 for question number 1. Once the P value and the Q value for each individual item is calculated, the P multiplied by Q value will be calculated also and the way to do that is to multiply the value for P by Q and then to add all the value for the multiplication of each individual questions multiplication of P by Q to add up all the value to generate the sum of p multiplied by q which equals to 3.42 now most of the 
values are ready now to be replaced and used and inserted into the equation as shown here k represent the number of the questions or items and in this case k equal to 15 so if we replace the value or the values in the equation we find out that kr20 equal to 15 divided by 5 15 minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the upper part which represent the sum of p multiplied by q divided by the variance of the total score and the value for kr20 generated is equal to 0.91 which means that the exam or the test is 91 percent reliable 